All right, so today we're going to install a Dream Machine Pro. So let's get started. All right, so on the box, you know, we got the brackets. Uh, we actually got some um, feet that we can put on the bottom of it in case we don't bracket it. And then it comes with all the bracketing screws and everything and the instruction manual. And, of course, the power cord. So let's go ahead, since we're going to bracket mount this, let's get the brackets on. Um, should be pretty straightforward just putting in screws all right so i did get the brackets installed so we're one step closer to get this thing up and running all right so i do got this old um 500 gigabyte hard drive laid around so i am just going to put this in the um, case and then putting it in the case is actually pretty easy let me flip it over here where you guys can see this is right here this right here you just pull on this and it moves these little knots back right here that your hard drive locks into so when you put in the hard drive you put it in and then you pull this piece here and you push down the drive and once you have it snapped in place everything snapped and so it's not going to go anywhere or anything so it's held on just by these little latch that you know latches back in again you just pull this out and then you push in the drive and just snap it back in place and we can throw this into the drive here and we will be good to go make sure it's in there close it up all right let's get this in the rack uh, before i put it in the rack there's just one more thing i want to show you there's this little lock mechanism right here so it comes out with the lock and then unlocks so when you put in your power cord you can actually lock it and then that way it won't come out easy it's a nice little feature especially if um, you're a cord tugger and if you look at the cord there's that little slot right there that's where that lock goes into play all right so i ran some wire wire and then down here if you notice i got the udemy pro on the rack I just gotta hook up the um, internet and stuff all right so I got my cord here that plugs into my WAN over there this is what goes up to my um, modem then this goes back upstairs to my main computer and then this cord here is hooked in and it goes back to that switch over there <coughs> which most of my stuff is ran off you know down here all right, so we'll go ahead and start it up. I have it up actually on this up here. So I'll turn that on. And then we'll see it starting to uh, boot up down here. All right, so to get our AT&T modem to work, what we end up having to do is go to the firewall IP pass-through. Um, we select the allocation mode of pass-through. And then the pass-through mode will be DHCSP fixed. And then we just select the unified device down here. So we check the um, Dream Machine Pro. And then we just hit save. And then we just reboot the um, modem. And we should be good to go. All right, now that we got everything hooked up, we'll just go ahead and sign in. All right, so now that we're logged in, got everything set up, we can go down here and we can um, notice that there's updates available so we can just hit the updates and we'll go down here and just um, update all these and then once we're done you know we're done it's pretty much set up and you know I'm gonna have to go through all the features that this thing does and learn a little bit more um, about some of the advanced options and hopefully after that we can um, continue some of these videos